guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see from the title of today's video, today is going to be a very glittery, very bronzy, very holiday appropriate bronzy smoky eye. I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet, I have no idea, but I'm thinking more along the lines of a bronzy glittery look. The other day I did a haul video and I hauled a Reflex Glitter by MAC. It was Reflex Bronze and a lot of people were like, you need to film a video using the Reflex Bronze and I was like, okay, I'm gonna film it. So that's what I'm wearing on my lids right now as well as a nude lip. This look can be paired with any kind of lip you guys want to do. I just think from this look with the how my eyes look, I wanted to do more of a nude subdued lip, you know what I mean? If you guys want to do a fucking red, do a red. If you want to do a maroon, do a maroon. Do whatever color you want to do but this is the look I chose for my eyes and for my face and I think it turned out really really nicely this look will get you a fucking man or a woman during the holidays okay you're at a holiday party for your work you see someone in the distance you're like hey you what's up what the fuck's up bitch you're wearing this look done it's done it's done. So, hope you guys enjoyed this look. I had so much fun creating this for you guys. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the drill with that. But if you guys do like this video and you guys do like me, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And yeah, have a happy holidays. I love you guys so much. And let's get into this tutorial. Okay guys, so we're gonna go and start this face completely bare. I'm gonna do the entire face today. It's gonna be like more of like a talk through. You guys know that's my style. I like to do talk through videos and I like to do the whole face. Most of the time, I mean, unless I'm being really lengthy or I have to go somewhere. So I already primed my skin off of camera. I used Benefit Professional. I wanted a really nice, clean, smooth surface for that. And Professional Silicone Based Primer flawlessness for that, okay? So today I'm gonna take a mixture of my L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible and the NARS All Day Luminous. I talked about this combo like a while back. We're going like kind of old school. And by old school, I mean like, pfft, what, like, Months. I love the Pro Matte Infallible combined with NARS Sheer Glow. It gives me like a natural finish, but it's full coverage. It's like the weirdest thing. I can't like, really explain it. If you guys have tried Pro Matte mixed with the NARS Infallible, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The NARS by itself, I can't do. Like, I think it's too luminous and I don't think it lasts all day on me, you know? But combined with the Pro Matte, it like gives me like a mattifying effect and I love it. So I'm just kind of putting it on the back of my head and then dotting it everywhere. If you guys watched my haul video recently, I just got a bunch of the new Morphe Elite Collection brushes. So I'm going to be using the E44 today just to kind of see how it is to kind of buff out. Wow, it's, it's buffing really nice though. I'm not gonna lie. I like how it looks. Come through airbrush foundation. The fuck? And then I'm gonna take a couple drops of the NARS foundation. That's gonna go down my neck with that same buffing brush. If you want a nice like airbrush finish, this is the brush for you. It's densely packed enough where it like it packs on a good amount of foundation but it's also loose enough where it kind of buffs out everything really, really flawlessly and airbrushed. I don't know if you guys can tell. I hope you guys can tell on the camera, but it looks super, super pretty. Okay, great. So now that the foundation is done, I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. I used this previously in a video, and I really, really liked how it turned out underneath my eye. The consistency is so, so, so nice. It's like thick, but it's not too thick, and it doesn't crease easily on me whatsoever, so I really like that because most things crease on me like crazy. I'm going to go and highlight and shit with it. <laughs> Beauty Blender it out. God, it's so pretty. It's full coverage. Blends like a fucking dream. Perfect. So now that we are bright and highlighted, go ahead and set the under eye. I'm going to be taking one of the new Morphe's. It's the E48, which is like a nice little like small, maybe like tulip brush. I'm going to set my under eye with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening as per usual, guys. Just dip the bitch in. And now to set the face, I'm going to go ahead and take my new E41. I'm sorry, I'm just going to be using all the new, like, elite brushes that I just recently got. Because you know when you get new brushes, you're just like, need to use. That's how I feel right now. So I'm going to take the E41, like, a f ooh, it's so big, I love it. I just love them big. And I'm going to take the Urban Decay HD powder and set the whole face with it. Now that our skin is as clear as we're going to get it. <laughs> We're gonna take the Morphe M527, my favorite bronzing brush. I love it. And Hula by Benefit, my go to bronzer. It's my favorite. Like, I'm a, I love this bronzer. And then just kind of going in on the temples and the hollows of my cheeks, down my chin a little bit. And then I'm also gonna take out my jawline just to kind of accentuate the jawline a little bit more. Recently, I got this like um, ultrasound laser on my, on like the fat of my chin, like in this area. It's an ultrasound that like kind of attacks the really, really pesky fat that you have underneath your chin. Basically anywhere that you have pesky fat, it kind of targets that. And for me, it's underneath my chin. It's like such, like, ugh. I've lost like 15 pounds since I've quit um, drinking diet soda and drinking so much more water in its place. And I still cannot get rid of the fucking pesky under the chin fat right here. I'm just trying to contour the fucking bitch away. It's not really working, but he said the results are going to be coming in the next four to six weeks. And I just got it like a week ago. So I'm hoping that that chin fat will be no more. No more. Let's go and highlight underneath the eyes a little bit. I'm taking that same E48 brush and the Kat Von D shade in light using the banana shade right here. The one I hit pan on because it's 
That is a good shade. That is some good shade shit right there. Um, I'm just gonna kind of highlight a little bit underneath the eye. Nothing too crazy. So now that that step is done, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of cook the contour. And basically what that means is I'm going to highlight underneath my contour to kind of emphasize the sharp lines of it. I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and a little beauty blender. Go underneath the contour, basically wherever I want it to kind of be sharp, like so. And then once you wipe that away, it's gonna be a lot more clean and sharp and really gorgeous and very contoured. Okay, cool, so now that we are nice and highlighted and contoured and contoured, I mean, what, contoured? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a blush now. I got this recently and I died for it. It's the Too Faced little, like, Love Flushed Hearts palette. Like, there's a bunch of little hearts. Oh my god, you can see my laptop. There's a bunch of little hearts and they're all blushes and I really wanted to use one of these. And I think the one I'm gonna use is a mixture of Love Hangover, and I Will Always Love You. <gasps> I will always love you. Fucking bitch. And then I'm gonna take that on a Morphe E53 brush. Just kinda dip into it and go in. So I wanna go in with Oldie But A Goodie. We're gonna take the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in the shade number two, which is this basically the, the gold shade. We're gonna take that shade on the same brush because this is a nice, like, flat angled brush, and I really wanna kinda, I wanna highlight with it too. Look at that shit, I forgot how good this shit is. So I'm just gonna wipe away the cooking. I'm so obsessed with this highlighter, I forgot how much I loved it. What? I live and breathe for it. So we're going to start the eyes now. I already went ahead and I did my brows off of camera and I primed my eyes already off of camera because I feel like that step is just so nonchalant. It's so unnecessary to show you guys because you guys probably already know what I do because I've shown you guys so many times and I don't want to bore you bitches, you know? I really want to use the new Visart palette today, the one I hauled. So I'm definitely gonna be using that today and then I have a couple other individual shades that we're gonna be using. And so I really wanted to incorporate a very bronzy, very glittery, like kind of holiday look. So that's what I'm going to be doing today on the eyes. So first things first, I'm going to take Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek, which is one of my favorite shades from Makeup Geek. It is the perfect transition for me, for my skin tone. If you're lighter than me or my complexion or a little bit darker, it will definitely work for you. I'm going to take that on E27. I've already hit pan on it because like twice. It's so, so, so good. And that's just going to go into the crease. What I like a lot about this transition shade is that it's not too warm and it's not too cool. It's literally like a very neutral peachy shade. Another really, really popular shade by Makeup Geek is Peach Smoothie. I love that one so much as well, but this one, it's just kind of like my go-to. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know that Beaches and Huang is like my shit and my titties combined. Cool, so we have put that into the crease with that Morphe E27. Don't forget guys, code Morphe, Manny MUA, all caps, in store online. Boom, 10% off. Oh, that was the fastest fucking affiliate push I've ever done. <laughs> I'm in a fight with Morphe, just letting you guys know. Um, you guys get to save 10% off. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the Visart palette. I'm so excited to be using this. I'm gonna take a mixture of these two shades right here. So that's gonna go on a Morphe M433, basically like a MAC 217 dupe, and that's gonna go into the crease. The Visart shadows, guys, are so beautiful, or Viseart, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. So then I'm just gonna kinda go in and start creating my crease with this color all the way to the front of the eye. And then as I'm getting closer and closer, I'm doing a lot lighter pressure. I feel like with a bronze glittery look, an orange transition shade would be so beautiful. That blend, are you joking? Like that blend was seamless. Damn, Visart, you fucking bitch, I love ya. So now I'm gonna take this a very warm, chocolatey brown shade on that same M433, a little bit less product, and that's gonna go into the crease as well. We're just gonna add so much dimension in this look. It's gonna be fucking dimensional, okay? So I'm just gonna take that on the outer corner and really start pushing that into the crease. And I'm taking that all the way in to the front of the eye as well. A little bit lower than I have the transition shade that we had down first. And then taking a Morphe M507, which is a more precise pencil brush. It's like very it's pointed and precise. I'm going to take this gorgeous, like, deep maroony shade. It's not a bronzy, warm tutorial without this color. A color like maroon, because I'm very maroon. Maroon is like the color of my soul. So I'm going to go in with that one, and that's going to go a little bit lower than the other shades. And that's going to go all the way into the front again, just like I did with the other shades. Lower than my other transitions. I swear, this is going to be like the ultimate transitional thing. And I'm just taking a clean blending brush. This is a Morphe E13. And I'm kind of just clean out those edges a little bit, clean up those edges. Nothing looks too, too, too harsh. And then grabbing Anastasia Beverly Hills Fudge, which is actually part of their newest collection. They just did a new fall collection on a Morphe E36, a very small pencil brush. And that's going to go into my crease for some added dimension and definition, but it's going to be like the darkest of the shades. It's a very dark chocolatey chocolate color. Put that in the crease. And Fudge is going the lowest possible into our crease, right up to that very, very warm transition that we got going on. And that's just going to go halfway in. I'm not going to take it all the way in like I did the other shades. This one's just going to go halfway in, 
and it's gonna be deepest at the outer corner because I think I'm gonna be doing a wing liner with this look. Perfect, so now that you have this fiery, warm crease going on right now, I'm gonna go and start with the lid now. I grabbed my Makeup Geek Grand Stand eyeshadow. I think it's such a beautiful bronzy shade and I think it's gonna be perfect with this look, like absolutely perfect. And I'm taking that on a Morphe M421, which is a very nice, just flat packing brush. It kind of reminds me of the MAC one. And I'm just gonna start packing that onto the lid. It's such a beautiful bronzy shade. Obviously, I'm gonna be putting glitter on top. So, this is just gonna be my base color right now to have underneath the glitter to give it more dimension. And now for the fun part, I'm gonna be taking the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter and MAC Reflex Bronze Glitter, and that's gonna go on top of the lid. So I'm gonna take that same brush, the M421 from Morphe. The Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue is probably my favorite glitter glue that I've ever, 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 ever tried. I think it's so, so good. If any of you guys are looking for a good glitter glue, the Too Faced one is sick. And then I'm just gonna kinda pack on some glitter glue, taking some of the glitter, just dipping my, I'm just gonna dip my whole brush in it and just pray. And then just go ahead and start packing on the lid. I'm obsessed. I love MAC Reflex glitters because they're so finely milled. They're not an intense, chunky glitter. They're basically like a pigment with a lot of glitter in it. And that's why I love it so much. I hope you guys can see how sickening the reflection is. It's very cool. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and finish the other eye off the camera real quick, and I'll be right back. So this is what the eyes look like so far. Also, random, like just like a random side note, you guys do not need the Visart palette to do this. I know that the palette is hella expensive, but you don't need to use this palette to be able to accomplish this look. You can use like the Morphe 35O. It's very warm, just like this. Um, you can use some Makeup Geek shadows. You can use whatever you guys have at your disposal. So just don't don't think that you need to use the Visart palette to be able to accomplish this look. I just got this and I wanted to use it because a lot of people have been asking me to use it. So this is what I came up with so far. I hope you guys like the eyes. Okay, great. So I went ahead and I did my liner off of camera. Like I just need both hands and I need the mirror to be this close to do it. You guys know what I mean. Like when you're doing your eyeliner and you're like, you need to be like holding your breath fucking this close. That's what I do. So yeah, <laughs> I did it off camera. So now that my eyes are beat to death, I can feel the pain pulsing through my body. I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom lash line now. So we're going to grab the Urban Decay Perversion Liner. I was debating. I was like, fuck, do I want to do a smoky bottom lash line or do I want to do like a more like natural bottom lash line? But I think because we're going so like festive and so holiday and you want to catch the bitch's eyes from the fucking end of the room, we're going to go with smoky on the bottom lash line because we, smoky says we ain't playing around and we messing with no bitches. So Perversion Urban Decay. Line the lower waterline. It doesn't have to be like fucking neat or anything like that. You just need to line it. Taking the same E36 pencil brush, we're gonna start just diving into the colors that we use from the Visar palette. All the four up here, we're just gonna start diving in using those colors. We're gonna just kind of blend out this lower lash line. I'm gonna first go in with a really chocolatey shade right here. Ooh, maybe I should like blend out the liner first. Morphe M508, blend out that perversion liner a little bit. We're gonna start blending out the lower lash line. Basically what we did on the top, we're gonna do at the bottom as well. So taking that shade, I'm just gonna kinda blend over the black with that E36 pencil brush. And then now taking an E18 by Morphe as well, transitioning out like we did at the top, we're doing at the bottom, making it very warm. Okay, so I went ahead and I <laughs> did a lot off camera, I think. So I went ahead and I put on my lashes off of camera because it was just gonna be a little bit easier that way. I am using the New Bouncem Bella Lashes. You guys know Bella Lashes from New Bouncem are my favorite lashes. They're so fluttery and so dramatic and so like extra, but I think they're super, super, super badass. And I love New Bouncem as a brand. They offer their affiliates, which I am, 20% off for their followers. My code's MannyMUA if you guys are interested. You guys are gonna save 20% off the entire site. So I think that's super, super cool. And I think it's really great that they offer that to you guys, so. Thank you, Nubon Sum. So yeah, let me just go and zoom you guys in to see what the final eye looks like up close. Perfect, so now that the face is completely done, I'm gonna do the lips now. I actually just did a lip and I didn't even like it, so I took it off and now I'm doing another one. I decided because my eyes are definitely more on the smoky side, more on the intense side, and I really wanted to keep the focus here. I wanted to go in with more of a nude lip. You can do whatever lip you wanna do. If you wanna do red, do red, man. Do a dark ass maroon. Do whatever you want to do, but I want to do a nudish lip because I mean recently I've done like the last video I wore Havana Nights, the video before that I wore like a brown lipstick. I'm like, you know what? Let me just do some nudes right now. Let me just feel my oats. Let me feel the nudes, okay? I'm gonna be taking NYX Peekaboo Neutral, which is my lip liner of choice for nudes because I love a good nude and I love a good lip liner, okay? So lip line your lips. Of course, cool, so we are lip lined to perfection. Now let's go in with our lipstick. I'm gonna be taking Ofer Cosmetics Longwear Lipstick in Bel Air. I have been so obsessed with Bel Air Liquid Lipstick by Ofra. This is like. This is like top lipstick of the month status. Like I love this color. It'll be my favorite, just letting you guys know. So go ahead and just fill in your lips. Look at that nude perfection, are you joking? 
And this is what the lip looks like. Isn't it gorgeous? Are you fucking kidding me? I am obsessed. And that is it for my entire tutorial. I hope you guys had fun watching this video. I had so much fun creating this look for you guys. I think it turned out really, really awesome. And I hope you guys like this. I think that the next holiday look I do is definitely gonna be for New Year's. I don't think I'm gonna upload another video till after Christmas because I really wanna spend this week with my family. Um, I'm always out of town nowadays and I wanna spend the holidays with them as much as I possibly can. But I also wanted to have a video up during the week of Christmas. So this is my video and I hope you guys liked it. All the stuff that I used in this today's video will be linked down below as it always freaking is, you guys know. I hook it up with the description. Also in my description bar, you guys can check out that have like links and codes and things like that if you guys are interested in using any codes to save you guys some money. I have those two down there, check it out. What else is there to say? I don't think there's anything else to say besides have an amazing holiday season, you guys. I love you so much. Honestly, like I have, I have had the most amazing year ever and I cannot thank you guys enough for being there along the way with me and making my year so perfect. I really cannot thank you guys enough. It's just been perfect in every way so have a merry christmas or if you don't celebrate christmas have a happy holiday have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are and i'll catch you guys in my next video i love you guys Mwah. fuck i'm so like illiterate i swear i went to school oh i look so cute with the blush what the fuck perfect 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 that was a good intro man that was a pretty good intro that was one take and i had to do too many things love it love it love it love it good i'm really happy right now fuck where's my water calm the fuck down you little hoe the struggle when you when you have lipstick on, you know? Is Halo real? I forgot the glitter. Where the fuck did I put it? Shit. Ah. What's going on here, buddy? Did I just break this really? Fucking great. My family is, walking, is watching Walking Dead so damn loudly right now. They are so loud with that fucking Walking Dead on. Oh, because I really just don't give a fuck if you don't like me. I just don't give a fuck, you know? You feel me? Oh.